Oh, it's just like Dark Souls! Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a little game called Smoke and Sacrifice. Now, um, I've seen a little bit of this game. If you haven't seen it, um, it got released a couple of days ago, I believe. Now, if you can picture um, Don't Starve If Don't Starve was a narrative game with actual characters and, and stuff and, I guess, direction. And it wasn't just all about um, repetitive survival cycles. But um, from what I saw of it, I thought it looked great. And I thought I'd be quite interesting to show you guys, quite frankly. And um, so... Uh, apparently the game starts and it just goes straight into it. There's no, no menu or anything like that. So I kind of like I skipped the first line of dialogue, but it said um, What did it say? Uh, the bells are ringing time to finish work Don't you want to go see your son before the ritual and then she says of course I do but dot 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 That's the spirit go on back to the village with you. I can't wait. That's a Pretty mean thing to say considering what's coming. I won't, I won't spoil it for you. Because it's going to happen pretty damn quickly. Right, so, find your house and collect your son, Leo. Or Leo, I, I, Leo, but Lio? Is it Lio? I mean, I don't know. Oh, look. Shit, it's cold. I'm going to die? Really? Wow, okay, fair enough. Um, don't touch the stove, because <laughs> apparently it's cold as fuck. Right, so I need to find our house. Our house is the one... Okay, so this is what's keeping everyone warm. It's like a big sun tree. Yeah, there you go, sun tree. Uh, sun tree keeps the whole community alive. And it keeps the snow at bay, I believe. Um, this is where our little bear bit is. A little bear bear. Uh, this is the shrine I built uh, when Leo was born. Ready for today. Okay. Sure, there we go. Oh, what's going on? We got a little baba. Oh, a little toy for our baba. Right, there you are. Did you sleep well? Yes, you did. Oh, look, she's crying. Oh, it's really sad. Oh, Leo, I know it's for the best, but I don't know how I do this. So let's go to... Right, there. That's better, isn't it, little one? Oh, shut up, old lady. <laughs> you wouldn't wail if it was... If you knew the joy that waits you tonight. That's dark, man. Right, Sachi, I do guess you haven't guessed already. I mean, I, I, I've thrown enough bloody hints, but... Right, so Sachi... Uh, Father Talmak uh, is waiting for you by the sun tree. Oh, so this dude here, this giant penis guy. Okay, let's go talk to him, I guess. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Man by the tree? So I click, or do I press E? I press E. Okay, so, ah, you're ready to begin the ritual. Good. I will ask Father uh, Smotherk, does that say Smotherk? Smotherk, probably, to summon the congregation. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, man. We're summoning the congregation. Yeah, this is this definitely looks good, doesn't it? I mean, I, I don't know how you, but all the best times in my life start with guys in the hoods. Um, yeah, I mean that's okay. <laughs> are they fla Are they glowing? They're like flashing. Okay, let's do it. So we're taking our baby to a temple. I wonder why. Could they become a superpower? So let's go speak to the father. Ready, Sachi. Very good. Then let us begin. <gasps> okay, so once more we gather in the warmth of the sun tree. Once more we honour him with the right of the firstborn. As his day fades once more into night, we beseech him. Hold us ever within your gaze. <laughs> Let it never flicker. Let our sacrifice be accepted and your blessings continue. Okay, so essentially what they're doing, I'll just get through. Dum, 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 dum. They're, they're sacrificing the baby in order to keep the sun tree from working so they don't all die. And is the everyone's firstborn gets sacrificed? Yeah, it's pretty dark, man. Right, I'm so sorry, little one. So that big old laser beam. Oh dear. Imagine having to watch this shit. Yeah, so that happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your sacrifice was accepted. The sun cycle continues. Though the gift uh, of a nameless child, we uh, profess our faith. Okay, sure. Great sun tree, long may your merciful blessings rest with us. Dot, dot, dot. You knew that his name was Leo. Couldn't they have given you that much? I guess they weren't even allowed a name. Which is pretty harsh, isn't it? So, I guess we don't really want to talk to anyone. They're all just going to talk about how I'm such a good person for... Murdering my child. Cause you know what cults are like. The fucking cults, man. This dude, he looks pretty cool. He's got a he's got a rocking mustache. 
and a big old nose. It looks like one of those, um, <laughs> like, you know, those, you know, those like, um, disguises that are really bad. It's just sunglasses with a nose and a moustache attached to it. Not even sunglasses, just like, you know, you know, it looks like it, okay? I don't need to describe it. Right, who are you? Why have I never seen you before? Never seen me? Hmm, <laughs> I remember you quite well. Saw you upon your dad's shoulders when you were a little and... I've traded in this village longer than you've lived, child. I just go travelling from time to time. Travelling? But there's nothing out there. How do you survive? The bugbears manage it, don't they? That, But that's besides the point. I've been here way too long, much has changed, yet it all stays the same. Children grow and another generation of them departed in sorrow. No, it's okay to cry, my dear. Named him, did you? Is it he like, speaks like Yoda, does he? Leo, I called him Leo, not that they cared. Leo, it's a fine little name for a little one who'll never grow up. That's harsh. <laughs> That's real harsh. Right, uh, there now. I'm not much for gift giving, but please take this pendant. It's precious, for it will light your way in the dark from time to time. But your mother, sorry, put your mother love into it. And remember your Leo by it. But hush, priests are coming. Ooh, that's pretty creepy looking robes. And they have daggers as well. I'm sorry, but like... I don't, yeah, the robe, fine, whatever. But the dagger, is that really necessary? That went smoothly. Smotherk never uh, thought she might make trouble. Never know how they'll react, eh? Do you think the boy will thrive down there? He seemed a little sickly. Sickly, even. Hmm. So, it suggests that the baby isn't dead. That maybe he's travelled somewhere. I hope so. We can't afford to lose too many. Hmm. So, it seems like this cult, maybe... A little bit shady. Who knows? We'll have to find out, won't we? But they're talking as if Leo's still her. Where'd you go? Hey. Lay people may not linger on the temple grounds at night. Because they're doing shady shit. <laughs> and that's the time to do shady shit, right? Go to bed. <laughs> Just go to bed, yeah? Just go to bed. Strange woman who we've taken a child from. I wonder why they're taking the babies, though. Hmm. So, seven years later, I'm still pretty sad. As, to, quite frankly... You probably would be, wouldn't you? I mean, blech. Sachi, don't you hear the bells? It's time to finish the day. It feels a little early, though. Have we got? Have we done a full day already? Wait, what's going on? <gasps> Ooh, looks like the um machine's failing. What happened? What just happened? It's day and now it's night. Has the sun tree forsaken us? Oh, shit. Can we take the crops? Should we talk to this dude here? <clears throat> Is the world ending? <clears throat> we should go back to the village and consult the priests. Uh, hello, villager. Is the world ending? Oh, okay, okay. So they're all going to say the same thing there. Shall we have a little wonder and see if we can... Um... It's this old lady. Yeah, they're all saying the same thing. Okay, fine. So, um, the sun trees are failing. The, I guess the cold's going to creep in. I mean, this village is pretty damn small, isn't it? But I guess big enough for their needs. This little farmland, whatever. Um... I guess they don't want to brave the cold, do they? Although, quite frankly, I went out there for like two seconds and I nearly died. <laughs> so, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, look at this bad boy. It's a yak. Even the yak seems spooked. There it is. <gasps> Who's that? Help! Sound the alarm. Pug bears are attacking the village. Pug bears? They must have noticed the sun tree falling. Sachi, have you seen your father, Telmec? Or father... Oh, sorry. Father. Not your father. Or father, Smothrek. Nobody knows where they are or what to do. Oh, shit. It seems like they may have, like, done something a bit naughty. Hmm. It's all convenient that they're not here, you know? Right, so just to try and get defense organized, I'll see if I can find them. Surely they're in the temple, if anywhere. Avoid the pug beds and head northeast to the temple. Look for the senior priests. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so, uh, we don't have any weapons or anything, do we? We're just kind of, like, cracking down. Oh, what's happening? Oh, they're fighting. Wow, look at these bad boys. Whoa. Oh, shit. Are you alive? Are you all dead now? I mean, they're hitting this. Look at that weapon. It looks intense. I certainly wouldn't want to go anywhere near it. <laughs> Christ. Right, do we sound the bell? The bell is rung. Okay, fine. So we need to go to the priest. I think like, the temple's up this way. Oh, shit. Sounds so brutal, them just getting smacked in the face. Oh, oh, that hurt. How do I, like, dash? I feel like I should be able to dash. Right, hello again, Sachi. Long time no see. 
You again. You do like to turn up out of nowhere. Have you seen have you seen the senior priests were under attack? So I notice <laughs> as usual, my time is impeccable. To answer your question, the temple is empty. Not a priest in sight. Good time to poke your nose in. If you're not curious about that sort. You may find you may not find assistance, but you might uncover a secret or two, eh? Mm. But they're not in the temple. Where are they? Exactly. Ah, now that is a question, isn't it? Considering this whole place is surrounded by deadly, deadly snow. <laughs> you know the right uh, of the first point is not all it seems. Today, finally your chance has come to discover more. Perhaps your perhaps it's your chance to find your son again. Who knows? A wise person prepared is prepared for everything or anything. But I don't know. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I want to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we know what we're doing. This is it's, um, it's a dodgy priests that have fucked around. Um, the disintegrator may not be a disintegrator. Maybe it's a teleporter. Let's find out. Oh, not cut. Right. Okay. Yeah. I need to go get my son's teddy bear first. That's right. Um, because I guess my now six year old. I guess I forgot. Is it ten years or five? I can't remember how many, however many years it's been. I guess they'll still recognize the teddy bear, right? Oh god! I like when they oh pierce when they see you. The right star clone. It's pretty cool. Um. Oh god. So my house is oh up here maybe? No, it's down there. It is. Okay. So here's the shrine. This is a very dangerous thing to do. Okay, so go back to the temple. I have noticed, however, that there are hardly any any people left. <laughs> just saying, you know, just saying. I mean, I would like to see more people alive, but it seems like I've only seen two people, and I think someone just died. I heard it, I heard a grunt, and then nothing, <laughs> silence, which is always a uh... yeah. Right, let's go. So I got my little teddy bear. Oh, he's really nice. He looks like he's handmade. What is this? Anyway? Sun Tendril. Okay, so that's what it's called. I have a pendant starts to glow. And I get shot with a disintegrator ray. But, oh, the game didn't end, so there we go. It's a teleporter. <laughs> of course it's a teleporter. But it's good. It's good. I like it. Smoke and sacrifice. So here was, I guess that was kind of the beginning. So rocks all around me and above as well, I'm underground. Oh, I didn't actually know that. So they're underground. Right, so it looks like a swamp from the old, uh, sorry, old picture books. Maybe there's someone around that can tell me where I am. Okay, so saving complete. So saving, you have to save these little terminals, which is pretty cool. Right, so we open a quest log with Q, inquire about his son amongst the locals, talk to the locals and learn about the strange place. Okay, and we can also smash it up. Bit loud, isn't it? I'm gonna fiddle with. I uh, can't fiddle. Okay, I can't fiddle. I <laughs> can't fiddle with the sound effects. Um, there is no bars for it. Everything seems a bit loud, you know. So apologies if the sounds are somewhat sharp. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around and um, I guess I think from what I remember is a. Uh, how do we? What's the inventory button? I I for inventory. Okay, cool. So from what I remember. Uh, we need to um, craft something special that involves little fireflies because um, something bad's coming. So let's see. You are not like us. How strange. A figment of s the smoke. The smoke. Mm. How would you survive the smoke time with no mask or lantern? It kind of reminds me like Silent Hill, if I'm honest. Or, or don't starve with half the day not being able to focus. But you can see a little compass there. Got like a smoke time and a normal time. And during the smoke time... Um, the environment is deadly, so you need to kind of uh, protect yourself against that. So you need a lantern to do that. So you should hurry and catch yourself a lantern fly. What? You don't even know how to make a net, or don't even have a net even. But have you lost the recipe? It's hard when you forget when f when the forgetting takes you. Interesting. So maybe there's something that makes people forget here. Okay. So, uh, so polyp polyp. That says polyp, doesn't it? Polyp tendril and sour breed, uh, tree branches. So I need to kill a polyp. That's what I need to do. Or a couple of them, at least. And um, that will allow me to... Um, oh, there it is. There's one. Craft um, a net so I can grab one of these bad boys. Right, so you can dodge by pressing R. Interesting. Oh, no. That's not R. Maybe I should have read that. <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, it's just like Dark Souls. Oh, okay. Okay, that's better. I've been using click to fight, but it's probably best if I press R. Like like the game told me to. Oh, God. I'm not very good at this. Okay, one more. There we go. Bad boy. Right, okay. And how many did I get? I got, I think, three and some brains. But I think I can eat the brains for some health. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, cool. Um, Jesus flies. So I need to kill another one then, I guess. But I lost half my health. But I think I learned a little bit. So fingers crossed I won't take so much damage again. Oh, gold. Oh, gold. Right, so let's see if we can find a polyp. Oh, okay. So I, this bit I have seen. And I did happen to know that there was a key in that one box. Uh, I guess um, it's the same every time then. Right. So we got ourselves some hog hide. Um, some pork and sour fruit stew and some deer tokens uh, coins um, the currency of some sort not sure what okay right, so there's a polyp there fantastic I'll take that as well right so I might have to like can I remap some controls um, no there's not really a lot of options here I can say maybe I can map the attack control to something other than R because it's a bit annoying I suppose oh shit I suppose you can get used to it, I guess. It's the radius. Yeah? Oh, God! Can you shut up, you stupid fly? <laughs> okay, nice. We did take too much damage that time, so let's go and see. Crafting, yes? Crafting! Let's craft that bad boy. Let's go to back into your inventory then, I guess. Oh, oh, hack on a second. I think I might need to hold it. There we go. Oh, I guess while you're crafting then... Time still moves. That's an interesting little mechanic. I do like that. So now let's go equip and let's go and collect this fly. Oh, okay. There we go. Got him. Let's go get a couple though. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Because I don't. I think I'm like. It's gonna be important. Ah, come on. Oh, shit. Got him. Oh. It's, it's some because it's mapped to R. Some directions are easier than others. If I'm going left or up, it's it's fine. But if I'm going right, um, like the fingers kind of, kind of jump on top of each other a little bit. Um, but anyway, uh, ooh, one more, one more, one more. Got him. Right. Okay. Cool. So what do we do now then? I don't suppose we have any more crafting recipes, do we? Let's go see if we can find another local. Oh, what's this control panel? Oh, the control panel is for the teleporter, which means we're back to where we started. Which means there should be a local here. Hey, right. Let's speak to him. Right, is that a lantern fly in your pack? Perhaps there is hope yet. Okay, so, oh, okay, so we got everything we need. So we got a lantern fly and a glow fern husk, which are these things here, which I picked up a couple of them actually, um, and that prevents the smoke from choking us. Awesome. Apparently, the the smoke is afraid of light, which is, yeah, okay. It might be maybe it's the smoke from Lost. I don't know. Put a lantern and it will drive away choking smoke and we'll be good forever and ever and ever. That's exactly what he said. But I really need a lantern if I plan to wander about. So, crafty roni, baby. I keep forgetting I need to hold. Should I craft two? I feel like I should probably craft two, right? Yeah. I'm not going to equip him yet because I don't need it yet. And I think it has durability. So, that would be a bit silly, wouldn't it? But um, I say we go around and see if we can find anybody else. And maybe they'll have other recipes for us to craft some useful stuff. But I probably should unequip these things there we go I, oh i didn't realize you can actually equip two things so a weapon and a lantern i suppose nice nice indeed oh what's this um what is that a whistle blows when it's time for the deer or drear drear what does that say to start or stop work oh do we have one of those on our side then as well maybe we're still looking for some people let's bring up the map um it does say there's some um, people here. Maybe this, this says there's someone just like directly north of us. But I didn't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay. How's it going, bird, buddy? How's it going, buddy? Oh, you have a lantern. Oh, what a relief. It seems you've got... You've learned... You've... Oh, you've a lot to learn about survival. So here's a tip. When uh, we use recipe hides to train our youngsters to the toil. The recipes are written in secret ink that quickly fades. If you want to reveal them, rub the hide with sour fruit juice. Okay, so we've got some sour fruits, so we could do that. Okay, okay so um, 
I've marked a recipe hide on your map so you can visit it. Okay, so let's do that then. Ask characters about quest items, open inventory, and select the item to choose to show. Okay, so this is the um, the hide, but we need to craft something, don't we? We need to craft some of this juice. Okay, and the whistle has gone off. So let's hold up a little lantern. Woo! And while we're here, we might as well kind of... Yeah, we need to... um. Oh, by the way, these um, fireflies, you can just stand near them and they won't, you know, if, you, if you're out of a lantern, that's like a last minute resort. Um, where is the hide? Oh, what's he doing? So he's still working then, is he? Is he still working? That stuffed toy you carry is fascinating. May I see it? Um, the character, uh, oh, sorry, the, so he's asking about an item in the inventory, so you need to show him. So we open up the um, inventory and we drag it over to him. A lost child. There is a feral child living not far from here. You need to cross the icy wastelands to the south to reach her. Huh? I thought our son was a son. <laughs> yeah, words. Right, but dressed as you are, you would surely freeze to death on the ice. You should consult the masters. They've been out, They've been uh, around lately. Even words, which I think they're close by. Here, I'll show you on the map how to find them. Okay, so press M. Yep, we know about the map, don't we? So they are here. So they are where? Just, just literally here, aren't they? Um, let's see, recipe hide, so we go to inventory, and we go, bloop. And we learned how to make a fur jerkin, uh, which is hog hide, moss, and bone. Interesting. Um, which I guess will, um, I think that's armor though, isn't it? So first set, three pieces, partially partial protection from the cold, and physical blows. Okay, so that's something to work towards, I suppose. What? An o o overworlder here? A Marduk, you idiot. Did you leave the teleporter controls unlocked? I did not. I did not do it. I did not. <laughs> I never said the assumption of negligence. I failed to see how else this could happen. You there, Sashi, is it? Return wherever, wherever, when, whence, whence, whence. That says whence there. You came at once. So speaking like idiots. Smothurk, Marduk, what are you doing down here? What is this place? That is no concern of yours. You have no right to be here. It was, uh, so it would be most dangerous for you to remain any longer. I can't go back. The machine is broken. Broken impossible. It has worked without fail for centuries. Ugh, you deal with the wench, Marduk. I have other things to do. Oh, wow, he fucking disappeared. He straight up disappeared. Okay, well... Okay. <laughs> My fiery colleague never, uh, never did think things through. I suppose um, you profaned the holy temple, sneaking through it like a thief. Shut up. How you activate the teleporter, I cannot begin to guess. But it is irrelevant, for you cannot return to the surface. Broken or not, I locked the teleporter controls myself. Allowing you to leave after seeing this place would uh, would be folly. Here, make yourself a weapon, and you may survive the local fauna. Okay, so we need some quills, and we got, we got some branches. I guess you just stuff some quills on a branch, and it's like, hey, here's a club. Yeah, let's do it. And this we use to kill shit in the swamp. <laughs> to, to put it mildly, yeah? Okay, so moss, we need to pick up more stuff. We want bones. Bones is good. Bones is very good. What did I just pick up then? Was it more bones? No, it wasn't. I don't know what it was. Hmm, what is that? Bone! Very nice. I like the bone. I like two bone. Bone, bone, bone. What is this? Nothing. I don't know. Oh, dear. Let's see. Let's just poke around and see what we can find. Oh, here we go. So we got a hoggling here. And this is how we got our little quills, I think. But I gotta punch it. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh god, no! Don't 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 do it! I'm really low in health! Right, come on, come on, come on! I think I got him. I got him! Nice! Do I have enough though? I don't think I have enough. Uh, let's see. Uh crafty Roni, uh, I need. Oh, I do have enough. Fan troughing tastic. So, um, no, 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 no. By the way, that net's almost broken already. So there we go. So we got ourselves a nice old club. We can kick the shit out of some people. Um, so that's right click. Cool. Oh, and there's another chest. Nope, it's the same one. Uh, cool. Let's just pick these up. Nice so you can just smash some shit up. Oh, can't break that one yet though. It's metal. Ooh. How very fancy. 
Right, let's pick this stuff up. Deer token. I want to know what the deer token is. Not to be confused with um, the animal deer, of course. So, oh, okay. So this must be like some sort of teleporter to go into the earth, I guess. I guess we're in the earth. It kind of makes sense. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. Oh, there's a lot of um, hogglings here, which we might want to take care of at some point. But I'm going to leave it there. Um, let me know, guys, if you want to see some more of this game. I would love to play more of it. And um, there's a link in the description if you wish to purchase it. It's from the Humble, and I'll get a little bit back for it. But, but anyway, I am getting absolutely hogged here. <laughs> so, ciao! Bye!